But we begin with Chief White House Correspondent John Roberts with the breaking news. President Trump is losing hope, but this White House says they knew it was coming. Good evening, John. Well, I think he's losing hope in the form of a person, not necessarily in the form of an idea. You mentioned uh, one of the people closest to the president. I would say that other than the president's immediate uh, family of uh, Melania, Ivanka, and Jared Kushner, Hope is probably the person who's been closest to him, has been literally at his side for the past three years, working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. She uh, was embroiled in controversy, not of her own making recently, uh, when the man that she was dating Rob Porter, uh, was succumbed to uh, allegations of domestic abuse and was told to leave the White House. She testified yesterday for some 10 hours before the House Intelligence Committee about what she knew about potential collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. In that testimony, she admitted to, at times, telling, quote, white lies uh, on behalf of the president, uh, though she did say under questioning that none of those uh, things had any kind of bearing on uh, the Russia investigation, at least no substantive bearing on the Russia investigation. Some statements from the White House, one of them from Hope Hicks herself, saying, quote, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude to President Trump. I wish the president and his administration the very best as he continues to lead our country. From the president, Hope is, an out is outstanding and has done great work for the last three years. She is as smart and as thoughtful as they come, a truly great person. I will miss having her by my side, but when she approached me about pursuing other opportunities, I totally understood. I am sure we will work together in the future. White House officials say that she has been thinking about leaving the White House for some time. She has been working at a breakneck pace for longer than most people would be able to. She will also stay here at the White House uh, for uh, maybe the next few weeks. Uh, Brett, her departure is not immediate, but it is imminent. Brett? Uh, John, stand by if you would. Catherine Herridge here. You know, uh, the White House is insistent, Catherine, that this does not have to do with that testimony up on Capitol Hill. It was nine hours of questioning, and it comes obviously after uh, she talked to Special Counsel Mueller and his team uh, recently for a lot of questioning as well. Well, one of my contacts who's been working closely with the White House on the Russia investigations pointed out that, in his opinion, Hope Hicks has really been beaten up pretty badly by the whole process and not in any reasonable way. What he pointed to was not only the interview with the special counsel Robert Mueller's team, but also an interview with the Senate Intelligence Committee and then most recently the House Intelligence Committee behind closed doors uh, for nine hours, where she answered questions getting into a lot of specifics about individuals and meetings uh, during the campaign and then also the transition period. Here's how Republicans and Democrats responded after the session. Catherine, what about the Manafort situation? There's some news about that. Well, Paul Manafort was in a D.C. federal court uh, this morning uh, in Washington, uh, and he was uh, responding to a superseding indictment, uh, an additional five counts he pled not guilty. But it was his first court appearance uh, since his business partner, Rick Gates, uh, got that uh, guilty agreement, or plea agreement, rather, with the special counsel, where he's pledged full cooperation. Uh, Manafort's now looking at a trial date uh, in September, and he was admonished by the federal judge for releasing a statement at the end of last week where he he seemed to chide Gates for not being in the fight for the long term and being in it to prove uh, their innocence. There is uh, basically a gag order from that court right now uh, for both sides, but Manafort's team says uh, they're going to uh, contest it. Brett. Thanks, Catherine. John, uh, another question to you about the turnover in this administration. There has been a lot of it. Uh, if you look at all of the people who have left in the first 13 months of this president's uh, time in office, uh, it is quite a few. Uh, thoughts from this White House about that turnover? And perhaps, you know, this was his closest, his, his confidant, the person who was with him for the longest. Yeah, in many ways, his right-hand man. I mean, we, we know about the turnover here at the White House, and there's some churn that's happening uh, as we speak now. There are a number of people who are transitioning out of the White House. But if you look just specifically at this position of communications director, it, it has probably been the position with the greatest churn. Don't forget, Sean Spicer was the, in, uh, was the first communications director because they really couldn't find a communications director. So he was playing the dual role of press secretary and comms director. Then they brought in Dan Dubke, who lasted for a 
couple of months, and then Spicer was named communications director again, and then Anthony Scaramucci was brought in for a period of 11 days, and then Hope Hicks was named the communications director. Uh, I'm I'm told that uh, Hope Hicks really wanted to she wanted to leave, and she'd been thinking about it for some time. She really wanted to get this testimony before the House Intelligence Committee uh, out of the way uh, before she made the decision to to leave. And uh, according to sources, she uh, told the president today that she had made the final decision to go. Uh, what, what's unclear uh, in all of this, Brett, and we'll continue to try to dig to get more information, is how, how much did her white lies comment play into her leaving. Uh, we don't know what the president's reaction was uh, to the news that she had said that. Uh, we don't know if, if people thought that maybe after that there was a little bit of a credibility uh, problem, but uh, we'll continue to shake the bushes around here to, to find out if that played into it at all or if she had just simply decided after three years of running at this breakneck pace it was time to go and pursue opportunities outside of the White House. Brett? All right, John Roberts, Catherine Harris, thank you.